Good morning and welcome to the Forex Daily Update, brought to you by Pepperstone on Monday the 6th of November 2017. I'm Darren Sinden, and you can follow me throughout the day on Twitter by using at DS underscore Pepperstone. Right, let's have a look at overnight changes in price, most to be aware of. We're looking at weekly closing prices today, as it's a Monday, and uh, changes therein. Uh, first of all, dollar index, 94.94.10, it closed on Friday night, edging ever closer to a 95 handle. Cable, 130.77, we'll have a closer look at that in a moment. Uh, look at this, a 0.9% move between the US dollar and South African Rand last week, and an even bigger move, of minus 0.1%. Minus 1.5%, I should say, between the US dollar and the South Korean won. Don't forget the moves we saw in the Australian dollar against both the Japanese yen here and the US dollar here. In fact, exactly 0.8% in both of them. Right. Big range, big change. The, the title of our chart, a chart of cable. I just wanted to flag the moves that we saw last week. Here's the market's anticipation into the Bank of England rate rise announcement. Here's what we found happened. Uh, when the Bank of England announced a rate rise and in particular said it was not looking to race to, or rush I should say, to raise interest rates anymore uh, until perhaps the end of 2018. Bit of indecision here in the chart on Friday, a good metaphor perhaps for what's happening in many of the world's foreign exchange markets at the moment. Right, what's on the calendar? Events that may move the markets today. Uh, a lightish calendar but still plenty of stuff to take account of. Uh, Bank of Japan's Governor Kuroda has spoken earlier this morning. Take a moment in time to dig out what he said. But of course, Donald Trump is in Tokyo as well today. Uh, at 8.15 GMT, we start the day with market services PMI data out of Spain. Consumer price index data for October from Switzerland follows thereafter. And at 8.55, we have services and composite PMI reads for Germany. And then at 9 o'clock, uh, the similar data for the whole of the Eurozone. That's followed at 10 by... Uh, Europe's producer price index data for September and a meeting of the Eurogroup ministers in Brussels at one o'clock uh, FOMC chair Janet Yellen will speak uh, in the US and then to finish the afternoon at 3 at 3 p.m. GMT we have PMI data out of Canada right breaking news and comment that's caught my eye today first of all iron oil prices have gained five percent in early Chinese trading Indonesia's Q3 GDP has missed forecast but only just Brent crude oil has touched a fresh two-year high in Asian trade, and that may be because the Saudis have clamped down on opposition factions and personalities within the country in a series of high-profile arrests over the weekend. And President Trump is in Tokyo for the first leg of an Asian tour this week. Right, food for thought, something to take away with you into the trading day and the week ahead. And think about this, please. Even as the ECB appears to have reduced its monetary stimulus measures, wealth managers Pictet have flagged the uneven path of key inflation or growth metrics within the Eurozone. And remember, the Eurozone is looking for 2% growth in, uh, in key inflation measures over the, the medium to long term. We're just not seeing that. Uh, and uh, the chart here breaks down uh, the basis for that uh, non-compliance, if you will. Right, please take a moment to read the risk warning. Trading CFDs and foreign exchange and margin can be a risky business. If you're in any doubt about those risks or have any other questions, then please do contact your Pepperstone account executive.